Okay. <laughs> that actually really grossed me out. Hi guys, I'm Jessica. I'm your unofficial beauty expert. Ah! Although I do have some official training. I used to work for four years at Sephora. Today, we're gonna to be looking at almost every single lip product under a microscope. Very, very, very close. We're gonna be seeing color payoff, texture, and which products are right for you. Before we get into anything else, I wanna take a look at my lips, see what we're working with. I don't wanna be alarming, but this is the coolest thing I've ever owned in my entire life. It's our beauty microscope. I don't have a lot of things. So let's take a look. Oh. <laughs> it's really scary and super up close and a little dry in places I didn't expect it to be dry. Oops. I do not exfoliate as much as I should. And sometimes when a gal goes out and she goes home, she goes to bed and she doesn't take her makeup off. Also, a fun fact about your lip is that everybody has a unique lip print similar to your fingerprint and it can be used in forensics. So don't go kissing at your crime scene. Let's get started with some lip scrubs. First we have a store-bought lip scrub. Next we have a home remedy which is sugar and honey. Sugar granules are actually a really great exfoliant because they're not too abrasive on the lips. You want to be very careful about the exfoliants you use on your lips. Anything like an alpha hydroxy acid or a salicylic acid might be too intense. Also, any tree nut scrub, a lot of body scrubs, are not suitable for the lips. Don't do it. You wanna be gentle. So we have our lip scrubs. I'm gonna do one on the top and one on the bottom so we can compare. All scrubbed. Gotta get all of this off my face. Okay, so my top lip was done with honey and sugar and it looks smooth. And my bottom was done with that weird jelly exfoliant. And honestly, it also looks smooth. So it's the same, it's whatever you wanna do. So before the exfoliant, we saw a couple of flakes of dry skin, which was super cute. And now it's like a fresh, clean surface. But let's get to the fun stuff. Now we're gonna try out some lip glosses. We have some high-end ones, we have some drugstore ones. I feel like lip gloss is one of those things that you don't need a mirror to apply. You can literally just be running down the street and rubbing it all over your face and it always looks good. I'm gonna do this section with the drugstore. Okay, we're not getting a lot of product on the doe foot applicator. I think I could have licked my lips and got the same shine, but it feels nice, it's lightweight. Now we have our high end, much smoother, and the applicator fits nicely right by the cupid's bow right here, which I appreciate. Let's get this focus. It's actually really cute. It looks like a bunch of little bubbles. I'm obsessed with bubbles. So that was the high end. Now we're gonna look at the drugstore. Okay, this one's bubbly too. I think there's a little bit of shimmer in comparison to what my actual lips look like. There's zero texture, just lots of moisture and almost like this bubbly texture on top that makes everything super shiny and plump looking. So that is a bonus. Now we're gonna move to the lip plumping lip gloss. I don't have a lot of experience with plumping lip glosses because I don't really need to plump my lips. This tingles. Okay, they're getting bigger. We wanna get in, we wanna get up close. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so it basically looks exactly the same, but less surface area fits in the lens because my lips are like twice the size. I wanna talk to you guys about the different types of lip plumping ingredients. The first type of lip plumping are humectants, which plump your lips through moisture using ingredients like hyaluronic acid or glycerin. So basically it's just adding moisture to your lips and then they look plumper. The next is an irritant. Like its title, you're causing a tiny irritation on the skin to make your lips appear more plump. You're basically causing an allergic reaction on your face. The shit we do. <laughs> Some of the irritants include peppermint, spearmint, and capsicum. That's the tingling that you're feeling and that I'm feeling. Now that my lips are now nice and juicy, we're gonna try glitter lip gloss. I mix my products at home all of the time. We're gonna do this handmade glitter gloss on the bottom. I got so excited. I wanna call this a foiling technique 
which I don't know if that's real, but I am wearing a lab coat, so I'm allowed to make stuff up and we're gonna call this foiling. Wow, what a natural look. Here we go. Oh, da, da, da. <laughs> I actually can't look at it. I can't look at it. Oh my God. Oh. You can barely look at it because it's so shiny and disco-y, but here it looks great. Moving on to the top. Okay, so we have a little bit of transferring from the bottom, but this one is more socially acceptable to look at. This one feels like you put on a layer of tin foil and glitter on your face. However, the payoff is totally worth it. This looks so cool. And the top one is fun, not as cool, but easier to wear. But I'd wear this to the grocery store. It's the exact same thing. Now we're going to move to lipsticks. But first, a very important snack break. Something that I love about Cheetos is that they taste amazing, but sometimes they leave like tasty pigment on your lips. So while we have a microscope here, I think it's very important we look at it up close. Uh -huh. Breaking news, it's just as gross as I thought it would be. There are things that we should never look at up close, and this is one of them, but they still taste good. Now back on track to the lipsticks. It tastes purple. We have a ton to try. This is just a tease. First we have your classic lipstick, cream formula, bullet form. Easy, up, down. Okay, we're gonna do the whole lip here so you guys can really see the color payoff. I love it. It's nice and bright. I did a couple of strokes just to get like coverage, but the pigment is amazing. Like one stroke, you get a pretty solid color. Oh, wow. It looks like a traffic cone. The color payoff is amazing. A lot of pigment spreading across the lip, but it's not totally in every single crevice. As you guys can see on the video, there can be a bit of a transfer or a bleed around the lip line, which is why in those cases, you'd wanna add a lip liner to give a nice clean edge. We have here a clear lip liner, which is one of my personal favorites because they go with everything you have. For the next lipstick I'm gonna try on to prevent any bleeding, I'm gonna put this clear lip liner underneath. And something that I love about the clear pencil too, you don't have to be absolutely precise and perfect because it's clear. Okay, onto our matte lipsticks. To get the matte effect, matte lipsticks have less oil than your traditional cream lipsticks, which means that they'll last longer, but they might dry out your lips a little bit faster. It's not totally matte, but we'll compare it to this liquid matte. Neither one of these are that matte. We'll give them a second to dry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, coming in yeah. Coming in. I'm expecting to see the same thing we saw with the cream lipstick, but less shine. Top lip first. I, my top lip looks like a leather car seat, <laughs> which I love. Not as shiny, but great color payoff. All of the color is like in the crevices, which I really appreciate. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. It really got in there in all like the crevices, just like the cream. So I don't know. Maybe some things are more similar than we think. And as you guys can see on the video, the lip liner is doing a really good job of containing all the pigment on the lips and there's less feathering like we saw on the first lipstick. Next, I'm gonna try on a color changing lipstick. What's happening here is a pigment in the lipstick is reacting to the pH on your lips and turning to pink. So this really feels like a cross between a lip gloss and a chapstick. It's slowly turning a little pink. Fun fact, a lot of these lipsticks say that it matches your skin tone, but as you can see, this product is pretty translucent. So everyone's skin tone is gonna show through and it's gonna have a little bit of a pink tint. Let's take a look under the microscope. I think I have Cheeto dust left over. It looks just like my skin, except a little bit more moisturized with like slightly little bit more pink. I like it. But what I think is really interesting is the change from green to pink. As you can see here, it's nice and green, but there's nothing for the product to react to, so it's gonna stay green. But we're gonna watch it change color. Whoa. It just looks like green slime, like Ghostbusters. Your lips have a pH of five, which has a similar reaction that the water has, which has a pH of seven. You can see here, our little glob of water is now a pretty pink. And that's the product reacting with the water and changing colors. 
Next we have a lip pigment, which is a pigment in powder form. I have zero experience with this. I'm interested to see how it goes. I'm confused why you would want to put a powder on your lips, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna check it out and we're gonna look at it underneath the microscope and it's gonna be cool. I can barely see this product. It's like putting your eyeshadow or your blush on, on your lips. Why? <laughs> so just to compare it, this side of my mouth has nothing on it and this side of my mouth has nothing, I mean, has the powder on it. Oh wait, plot twist. I think I might like it once it's fully on. It's subtle. I am a little concerned about it staying power because it's just a powder and it's not really a cream. There's nothing to like sink in and really cover. But let's check it out. This is actually really nice. So you can still see my lips through the powder, but it leaves this like nice little dust across it. Just like a little dust of glitter, really subtle. I bet you would look really great actually on top of a matte lipstick or a cream lipstick for a really cool layering effect. So this might be worth the add on. Tastes awful. Last, we're gonna try on some lip stains, but first we're gonna do a natural lip stain, wine. The fact that it stains your lips is a bonus. can say when it's too much. You wanna apply the glass directly to the lips. <sighs> Stained. Sometimes you need to go back in for a second layer just to really get a good coverage. Is it stained? <laughs> Let's look at this mess under a microscope. It's definitely wet. Mm, yeah. When you look at it up close, you can really see that actually there is nothing there. Last but not least, we're gonna try a lip stain. Unlike the other products we tried today, lip stains don't have any waxes or oils. It's just pigment and water and sometimes polymers to make the pigment last. I love to use a lip stain because I like the all day lasting power. I will say you have to have a steady hand applying because because it is so liquid, sometimes it will transfer and bleed into the fine lines around your lips. So I like to apply a little bit off my lip line. And you need to work quickly, because again, it stains. Okay, and now we're gonna let it dry. 12 months later. Now I'm gonna peel off the stain and we're gonna see what color we get. Okay, here we go. I was really scared for a second that it wasn't gonna come off. Ooh. <laughs> Gross. And the thing about lip stains too is that they actually use the same technology as temporary tattoos. Ah! 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 Oh my God, gross. Beautiful. So I love the color. Taking it off was not easy, but I love the color. It's really nice. Let's take a look up close. Oh, this is nice. It looks like my actual lip is truly that color. Like I'm not wearing any product at all. It really, really, really blends into the skin. Again, it stained my skin. So if you're looking for a more natural look or like you're not wearing a whole lot of product and your lips are just like naturally a beautiful color, I think lip stain is the way to go. I'm glad we got to spend some time together nerding out and I got to share some of my favorite lip products with you guys and also show you how insane some of those things look underneath the microscope. Cheers. Am I fine? Am I gonna be okay?